Good morning, my dear ones. Happy Veterans Day. Um, blessings to all of our veterans that have served our country so well and uh, remembering all of the servicemen and women around the world that are serving far from their families and remembering their families too, especially as the holidays approach. Um, so thinking of all of them today, thinking of all of you and uh, happy Monday. It's a new week. Um, I'm coming on to do a little card share and uh, I made this cute card. It says, let it snow. It has a couple little sequins on for snow. And, uh, and then it's this cute little image um, that I fell in love with from Red Lead Paper Paperworks. And I ordered this from Red Lead last year, 2023. It was in my Christmas order. And I always order a couple stamps from Red Lead um, every uh, Christmas holiday season. And I sometimes order from them in the spring also. And you've seen many of the little fairy and angel stamps that I have from their company over my 25 years of ordering from them. Um, maybe even longer. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I made this cute little Let It Snow card. Um, I used a piece of the pattern paper I was using on the inside. And then on the back, I added more pattern paper. And this little Warm Hugs tiny stamp uh, uh, image is from a digital uh, Hexi sentiment tags from uh, Lily of the Valley. So um, just a really sweet card. And uh, I wanted to come on and share that with you. And I will show you the stamps that I used to create it. Um, for the 25 in the background here in these little cancellation stamps, this is my friend Anna White. Hi, Anna. Um, it's from Whippersnapper Designs, and this is a set that she illustrated many years ago um, that has this 25 cancellation. It has a postcard and all sorts of Christmas stamp messages. And uh, I keep this one on my desk during the winter time, um, all winter long. And uh, so I did put that 25 cancellation up here and I put a few cancellations down here. It's always fun to add a little bit of stamping on your pattern papers just to add more detail to your card. Um, or you can do some embossing or something to add texture. Um, I added texture by tearing the, the strip of paper here. And then I added texture by adding the little sequins. And then I love this little let it snow. I just think it's so fun. Um, and I might stamp a few tiny little snowflakes around the image, but I haven't done it yet. I need to get out my tiny snowflake stamp to do that. So um, that is the card that I wanted to share. This is These are the images that I purchased from Red Lead for Christmas 2023. I purchased these two, and uh, I just fell in love with them. And I think I also purchased this one last year, this chickadee. So this black cap chickadee with the Santa hat and this wishing you a cozy Christmas because I thought this sentiment went really well with these two images. And uh, I also have a ton of black cap chickadees in my yard all the time. So um, these were the ones I was going to make things with last year and I just didn't get around to it. So I was determined to pull them out this year and use them for some Christmas tags and cards. And then the other thing that I used is this Let It Snow. This is a set of six um, sentiments from Red Lead. It's a these are all red rubber cling stamps and uh, this you can just put into your misty pick out some pattern papers and some card stocks and stamp five or six of them and then you have tons of sentiments all ready to cut out and use on any cards or tags that you create so those are the products that i used um, to make this sweet little card and uh, i'm going to set those aside and i'm going to show you i went to the website to check to make sure that these were still available and they are and while I was there, I placed my 2024 Christmas order with them. And as you know, I love this particular reindeer image. And there is a post on Instagram where I show some tags I did a couple years ago with this image. I just love it. And uh, when I was on their site, I saw this um, stamp. And this is a redwood block stamp by Red Lead. Um, beautiful red rubber cling on the mount. And uh, it says December 23rd, uh, North Pole, and has a reindeer. And I just thought that would be perfect with this for creating card backgrounds and stuff. As well as, I think it'd be really fun to add this to some metal rimmed two inch tags. This is 1.75 inches across, and it would be perfect to make some small circle tags. Um, you could add a scallop circle backer to it and stamp it in brown and put a red backer or a green backer, and they would make really sweet hang tags. So those are my plans for that um, image, and that's the one that I purchased to go with this. 
And then I did pick out two other stamps uh, from their Christmas collection for this year. I saw this cute little image. Um, and uh, this uh, is a little <laughs> hot cocoa image. And I just thought it was so cute. He's sitting on a sled. And then this I saw to go with it. There's hot chocolate hug, cozy winter vibes. There's this really neat little star stamp in here. Whimsical winter and enchanted forest. So a set of five stamps. And then this one is just a beautiful red rubber image. And all of that detail is going to stamp out so beautifully. So I thought these were wonderful together. And so these were my purchases. I purchased these three images, okay? And that is my 2024 Christmas order from them. Now, you know Red Lead. Um, let me add one more thing. I can't remember if I showed this, but this is the, the die sets that I used are from My Creative Time the pretty um, scallop oval layer dies with the stitching, and then the pretty scallop um, layer dies. So those are the ones I used to make the card. I can't remember if I showed you that. So let me do that really quick and then go back to this. So this was my order, these three images um, for my Christmas 2024 order with red lead. And you know how sweet uh, Chris and Sharon are to me. Uh, they wrote me a beautiful note. It says, Dear Jill, wishing you a beautiful holiday and thank you for always sharing on Instagram and Saturday Morning Makes. All the best, Chris and Sharon. And uh, they underlined the thank you. That's so sweet. Um, and uh, so the items I ordered, if you're interested, the Dewey Loves Hot Chocolate Rubber Stamp is eleven fifty, And these are things you'll order and you'll have them forever. So I love to add it to my stamping stash. This one with the five stamps in it, the five sentiments, is $14.50. And then this one, which is the Woodmount North Pole, is $12.50. So the, my total order was $38.50. Watch for their, they usually um, sometimes run a sale over Thanksgiving, I think. I'm not positive, but you might want to watch and see if they do that. But um, the, the thing that they do that I just love is they always include freebies with your order. Um, and they just send so many fun little things. So I opened up the package. They had all sorts of stuff in this cellophane bag tied closed with some beautiful seam binding, which they always include seam binding with their orders, which I just love. Um, and you know that it came in that beautiful decorated envelope. Uh, let me show you that really quick. Um, so this was what was on the front of the envelope. All of these beautiful images, joy to the world, winter wishes flying your way. I love that. And then this little unicorn, a little chicken on ice skates, a little bunny uh, with her mittens holding a bird, and then these two little um, bears. So just adorable. Look at the mushroom that she's sitting on top of. And that's how they came uh, decorated. And on the back were the stamps that I purchased last year. Um, as well as this bulb. I don't have this, but that's a beautiful image too. And uh, just, they always decorate everything so beautifully. And then inside, of course, um, they always include a little library pocket. And the library pocket always has um, some little tags and stuff that you can use and a little message. And the message is, uh, believe in yourself. Dear art girl, if you love your order, please tell a friend. Make what you love, love what you make. Love, Chris and Sharon. And it's always in a decorated library pocket, and you can see that beautiful woodblock image right there. And then they have other images. They have earth angels, this beautiful um, piece of, uh, um, like, holly with berries, if you will. Um, and then, and I think it's mistletoe, but, and then this little image here. So they always include fun things. There's all sorts of art um, suggestions for you that they send, and uh, you can even use these in your journals and cut these out. Um, but they show different things like colored with Copic markers, um, covered in manila tags with cut and paste sheets, uh, make your art, break the rules, and then some little artist trading circles here. So these are just all ideas on how to use the products. And if you go to their Instagram website, they always have beautiful things posting. So these are mixed media Rolodexes, cut, paste, stamp, collage, and make. Um, they have Thanksgiving collage sheets in their store right now. And uh, they always do artist trading cards and send fun things for that. Um, so just wonderful, wonderful products. And uh, you can see uh, where I got my idea. The reason I ordered the stamps that I ordered was from this card here. And uh, you can also see the chicken there. Um, there's all sorts of fun um just different uh, 
ideas like using circle punches on a tag and just really cute cards. So just lots of fun Christmas stuff in their store. They always do wonderful um, sheets that you can order, collage sheets. Um, and this is their Christmas one that they included in the order. So you can add these to circle tags and have little tags. You can back them with cardstock if you want. They also include a uh, um, they also included these six tags here. So beautiful, beautiful Christmas tags. And um, if I can get this apart, they included this beautiful music sheet of O Christmas Tree. So O Tannenbaum. And then they also include um, some chipboard, which you could also use to back these to create tags. So just wonderful, wonderful things. Um, and they always just make the most beautiful packages and then if that wasn't enough, um, they included a, yield, a little uh, envelope of stamps, which now I cannot, oh, here it is. They also included this little envelope of stamps and they were doing a promotion where if you send them an ATC card, they send you stamps. And so these are just some of the stamps that they sent me. And uh, Brian, I know you would use these in collage, but these are fun to just even add to a card in the background or to glue down on your journal pages or your December daily. And there's some for different times of the year that have flowers and stuff, but there's also some Christmas ones that are canceled. So just really fun, you guys. It's I love the way they use vintage ephemera. Um, and uh, they included this in my package, which was very sweet. And then to top it all off, when I opened that big cellophane bag, um, you know, that had included all the stuff that was in this cellophane bag, but the bigger bag also had these four stamps in it that they sent to me. So I wanted to show these. Um, this is the bunny, beautiful red rubber cling. And they sent that one. They sent the bears. Oh my goodness. So sweet of you, Chris and Sharon. Merry Christmas to me. Um, they sent this little unicorn and then this uh, right here, this chicken. So what I would like to do, because they have blessed me so well, is I'm going to give away a $25 um, gift certificate on PayPal so that you guys can go and shop at Red Lead Paperworks. And I'll see if Chris and Sharon uh, can maybe just give me a code. I'll check with them and see. But I'm going to give um, a $25 giveaway on this video. All you have to do is mention red lead in your comment, okay? So thank you so much for um, taking a look at this video today and uh, my little red lead paperworks card and uh, my little uh, Christmas ideas for 2024 and of course all the bonuses from Chris and Sharon with red lead paperworks. So thank you guys so much uh, for joining me and I hope you all have a lovely week and don't forget to include the words red lead in your comment to be part of the giveaway. All right, bye now.